two weeks ago. Give a round of applause, you come. I didn't see you. Yeah, they come from all over the fucking world! They see me. Isn't it funny, actually, right? Now, all around the world these days, you've got little Chinese men running around selling pirate DVDs. Going back a few years ago, you had pirates running around the world selling little Chinese men. <laughs> Do you ever get a boner for no apparent reason? <laughs> Why are you clapping your hands, lady? <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> hey, you're at work, yeah? Aren't you on the bus, you're having tea with Nana, you get a great big erection. <laughs> from out of nowhere. Where's it come from? What do you do? Now, if you're, uh, oh, here, have you seen this one? Girls, watch out for this. This is the men. Have you ever seen that I've got a bone a walk? We're trying to hide it, and it kind of looks a bit like this. Right, right. I see I've got a boner wall. And it kind of looks like you're taking a shit, and you're trying to catch it in the back of your knee. You don't know, ladies, you don't know. It just, what the hell is it? And it, it does, you know, it's, when I'm aroused, it doesn't suddenly cut you. What do you do with it? Now, okay, if you're wearing a pair of pants like these ones, do you like my pants? Yeah? It's an easy tuck fix. Like that, because you've got a buckle, you've got a belt. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? You just tuck it up. <laughs> that thing will stand there all day like a fucking Marine. But if you're at the beach, you're at the swimming pool, you're wearing a little pair of shorts, you've got no top on, what do you do? <laughs> Honey, get out, come on, we've got to go. No, I can't, it's all right. <laughs> want to swim a bit more? <laughs> get out, we've got to go. I can't. You can't swim, get out of the pool, you get out of the pool. Right, what the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> That's my other belly button. <laughs> Comes and goes. <laughs> Text messaging, do you ever read your text messages? Right, so you're at, you're at a bar, yeah? You walk in, you're on your own, you've got no mates, yeah? So, but you pull out your, your phone and you start, you start reading your old text messages. Yeah, you've already read them, but you start reading them, yeah? So you don't look like some lonely old paedophile. <laughs> you've got a point now, you've got a purpose in life, because you've got some friends, because you're, you're reading your texts. Yeah, reading your texts, yeah. That's it, all right. But you read, what I've noticed, you say, you say the dirty ones, don't you? You like to read them, yeah, when you're out alone, sat at the bar and when you go home, you know? I ain't got no friends, but Lynn Barnes wants me inside her. <laughs> <sighs> November 2007. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, yeah, I'll be all right. That ain't gonna happen, that ain't gonna happen. It's good to be back in Britain, actually. Yeah, I've been, I've been in America. Every time I come back, actually, from the States, I come back and I'm a, I'm a complete yank. Everything's awesome and so hot. Every time I go around the world, this stuff happens to me. I went to, I, I picked things up. I went to France about two weeks ago. I came back a complete fucking dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm back in Britain and I love it. But I had a split on one girl. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I, th th seriously, I just can't be in it, in a relationship, and they're nice people, they're nice girls, but I just, I, I, I get claustrophobic, so I have to find excuses to, to, to get rid of them. The easiest one is to just leave the country. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that a few times. I'm off to China, see you later. What? Yeah, China. <laughs> Skype me, yeah? <laughs> Sorry. Cold toes. I split up a girl because she had cold toes in the bed. They used to, they used to, they were cold. <laughs> she had cold toes. Why is it, yeah, that some girls shave their legs, their armpits, vagina, but leave a mustache? <laughs> Unless you're recycling, yeah, with your friend. Sometimes girls do that, don't they? they? They share clothes with other girls, don't they? Yeah? They double their wardrobes. Yeah. Yeah. 
Men wouldn't do that. Can you imagine me, or you, you a man out there, swapping clothes with their friend Dave? <laughs> do you want to wear my shoes? No, not really. Look at your feet. They look dead. <laughs> hey? Men go on vacation, they just pick out the least creased item <laughs> out of the bag. Oh, I'll wear that, whatever. wasted an hour, I don't care. <laughs> you wear whatever your wife puts out on the end of your bed in the morning. <laughs> hey, have you thanked her? Have you thanked her for years, 30, 40, 50 years, some of you men, she's been doing that for you when you go away on your vacation. Yeah, she gets up one, two, sometimes three hours. You're laying in your bed, scratching and rolling and farting. <laughs> little woman, she says, oh look, you that, you wear that tonight and you'll look nice. <laughs> uh, girls, they do, they look after each other. Men don't look after their friends. I mean, we like them a bit, you know, we go out with them, but girls really do take care of each other. When you're going out on vacation or you're out in the town, you're in, you're in the club for the evening, you know, the girls, hey, come on here, Sharon, come on here, come on into the restroom, let's, let's fix you up. You're really getting me down, girl. Put your finger, brush your hair a bit. Come on, look at this. What is this? What are you, a scarecrow? Come on. <laughs> Pull that in it, eh? A bit of lipstick. Come on, a bit more of that, girl. Pluck them all. Come on, get rid of that thing. <laughs> Cut that off. Yeah, let's, hold on, focus. Let's just fix that lazy eye of yours. <laughs> Twist that thing back. Focus, I'm over here, Helen. Yeah. Oh, you look good now. There's boys out there. We're going to go and talk to them. Let's just give you a bit of a lift, though. Got <laughs> a tape round the back. Oh. Yes, let's go back out. All right, yes, OK. Hello, hello. Men wouldn't do that, would they? No, it's disgusting. Listen, if my friend Dave had a big booger dangling from the end of his nostrils and he was talking to some girls, I would say nothing. Because he's going to make me look good and cool. <laughs> he's always like it and he's disgusting. The first, yes, yeah, the first, you know, bit of sex, bit of craziness, bit of drinking. But then you get into a relationship. It all changes, doesn't it? Relationships with, and the girls, I love you. The girls, you're the best. Women, eh? Rule the world, love you. But I just can't listen to your shit anymore. <laughs> you have to talk to him. You have to talk to them, you have to listen. You have to listen to them. You have to go and see their family. We never used to go and see each other's family when we were just shagging in disabled toilets. <laughs> but now, now I've got to go and see your family because we're together. You, I, you can't stand your family. Hey, I can't stand my own family. You can't stand yours. Why do I have to go around there? I don't want to go around there. Your mum's an alcoholic, your dad never shuts up. Your brother, there's not a second of the day that he's not stoned out of his marbles. Hey, your cousin's a thief, your uncle's a paedophile, and your nan, she's so fucking old it scares me. It's not normal if I'm gonna be that old. Hey, what about, the girls make me go out, right, when I'm with them, they make me go out and have dinner with the people that they work with. What's the point taking me out? I'm only gonna get drunk and nasty. <laughs> Don't bring me along. But they insist, because they want me to come along. Why? Because I can pay at the end and impress all the friends. Isn't it? There's my man. Eh? He's coming in and he's going to pay. Because there's usually some fat bitch at the end of the table with her iPhone out and a calculator, and she says everyone has to split the bill. <laughs> oh, chubsy, yeah? <laughs> what, because you eat like about 10 plates, yeah? Eh? We're gonna split it now, you fat cow. I had a beer and some bread. But I have to, because I'm with her, aren't I? Gotta do it. But then she'll return the favor, she'll return the favor, the girl with me, when uh, I go out with my mates, and she'll buy the dinner, because we go to the kebab house. <laughs> I think it's wrong, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> there was one guy in my school, he was a fully grown man by about 12 years old, yeah? His dick was so big, it had a knee in it. <laughs> hey, he was a maniac. 
Yeah, about 15 years old. He was having proper sex, like proper at it. He was having sex with the entire school. He was having sex with, with teachers. He had sex with people's mums. He fucked my mum. He fucked me. <laughs> I think it's a shame. Girls, you can fix it though, can't you? If you've got a little pair of breasts, you can fix them. You get a tip job. Yeah, implants. Can't get a penis implant? Well, you can, but I mean, I was with a guy and he said, yeah, my girlfriend, I didn't realise, but she had fake breasts and I didn't realise for three months. So how can you not realise your girlfriend's got fake breasts? I mean, how big did she go? I thought it was standard. Yeah, if you get fake tits, you get double Ds. Huh? I'm obviously wrong. I'm obviously, if I could get a dick implant, I'd get a double D. <laughs> I would. I'd want my dick so big, I couldn't use it. I'd just want to hurt someone with it. <laughs> yeah. I'd just like to drag it down the beach, you know, <laughs> knocking over little kids' sandcastles. <laughs> yeah, fucking little. <laughs> you walk past the pub. You're walking past the pub, hey Paul, come over, come on in, come on in for a beer. I can't, I've got to get my dick home. <laughs> the social networking sites, you've got your Facebook, you've got your Twitter, you've got your text messaging, some people text messaging like their life depends on it. Blogging, what the fuck is blogging? <laughs> blogging, I saw a poster the other day, right? I saw a poster and it said, learn how to blog. Learn how to blog. What are you, an idiot? Right? All you need is an ego and an internet connection. Anyone can blog. Right? But it, I think it sounds sick. It's disgusting. Think about the word blogging. I went around my mum's and said, where's dad? Oh, he's upstairs blogging. <laughs> yeah, he's been up there all night. He's blogging, he is. Right? It sounds like some unspeakable sexual act that you would partake in. <laughs> you little blogger. <laughs> Everybody seems to give a shit. You know, that's all we talk about. Other people, and what's going on in someone else's life. Perception, that's what it is. Perception, that's, it's an image thing these days. 2010, everybody wants to know what he's doing, what she's doing, what she got, what I haven't got, hey? That's what it's all about. Perception, an image thing. You think that some eco-warrior one day just woke up, got out of his bed and was like, I gotta save the trees, this is my birthright. No. Huh? That Greenpeace dude went out one night and got fucked up on ketamine or LSD. <laughs> yeah, smoked a mad bit of weed, ate some bad salmon, woke up next morning with a hairy person with pierced genitals and was like, I'll save the forest. <laughs> yeah, because now he's in a society where he's perceived as doing something. And that's what we all want to do. All perception, you know? <sighs> people like to see people as well. Like, I'm, not, I'm talking proper people, not Tinchy Strider at the car boot. I'm talking like proper people, you and me. You do, you love it. You see Gary walking down the street in his fancy diesel jeans and his Henry Lloyd walking down the chip shop to get some fish cakes. All right, Gaza! All right, mate! Ebby! People love it, yeah? He's foaming at the mouth like a dog on ecstasy right now. People like to, to point out that they saw you as well. People like to say, I saw you the other day. Yeah, I did, I saw you. You, fucking saw you the other day, boy! Almost in an accusing manner. Like, oh no, what'd they see me do? Was I leaving the Salvation Army with my new bed? <laughs> hey, was it down the park setting fire to dog shits again? <laughs> hey, was it at that party with that girl? She told me she was 18. I thought she was pretending to be asleep. Oh, there, there, no. No, you uh, Have you ever, do you know when you walk into uh, an Oxfam shop, charity shop, do you ever walk in, right? Okay, so you're down the street and you're like, oh, that, that shirt looks nice in the window. And you go to walk in, but then you have to look that way, that way, and then you do that. <laughs> you get in, you have a little rubbish around, you look at all the VHS videos, and then you do the same thing when you're coming out, don't you? Because you've got your bag, and then you do the little look, and the little look, and then you run down the street as quick as you can, yeah, with Rocky Free on VHS. <laughs> A new pair of brown shoes, a beige shirt, and a, a box of, an old box of Quality Streets tin with some stickle bricks in it. <laughs> and a rocking horse. It's a shag. <laughs> you can have it. People also like to uh, be nosy. People are very nosy. 
What are you up to? I, I bet it happened tonight. Oh, mate, I ain't seen you in a... Oh, I ain't seen you in a few years. What you up to now? I ain't, see, well, I ain't seen you in forever. Hey, what you up to now? What you doing now? Hey, I'm talking to you, you dick. <laughs> no. What are you doing? What are you doing for work? What are you up to? What are you doing for work? Oh, I work at the zoo, don't I? Look at the zoo. Oh, do you? Yeah, that's all right, isn't it? That's all right, that is, yeah. How much are they paying you? How much are they paying for that? Well, I, I get five pound an hour and I get to sleep with the penguins. <laughs> Excuse me, that's got nothing to do with anybody. What the fuck are you doing asking me that, yeah? That's like me saying, what sort of noises does your missus make when you're having sex? Does she go, oh, baby? Does she go, oh, oh, oh? Does she bend over and go, go on, bruv. Go on, you're doing an handsome job. <laughs> Go on, bruv, get in there, son. Go on, boy. Get in there, spark up a cigarette. Get in there, boy. Go on, bruv. Get in there, son. Get in there, geezer. It's got nothing to do with anybody, has it? Do you ever see anyone that you don't want to see anymore, right? Because you get a little bit older, you get a bit older, you get a bit fatter, your teeth go yellow. It's bad, it's bad. You see someone in Tesco's and you don't, you don't want to see them, so you pretend you didn't see them, but you blatantly did see each other. You're looking in each other's shopping trolleys, all oh, right, yeah, to see where they've been, what aisle, where they've been. Look, they've got crisps. They've got crisps, I'll go and get my crisps now to the frazzles. <laughs> Picking up watermelons, where are they now? Bumping into people, you know what I mean? You're trying to hide from someone. It happens, doesn't it? But then you do see each other. And you still pretend you didn't see each other, I didn't see you. No, no, no. The phone, the mobile phone, that saves some awkward moments, hasn't it? Didn't have that a few years ago. You pull out the mobile phone, all right, yeah, yeah. How you doing? Yeah, I'm all right, I'm all right, Mike. I did that the other day with my iPad, right? I, yeah? Pulled out my iPad. It's not a phone, it's not a phone, love. <laughs> not a phone. Oh, God. I'm sweating for you. <laughs> yeah? If you weren't here. Pfft. Oh, God. Take your shoes off. Let me see. Talking to a gorgeous girl from Boston. She's with her brother. I said to the brother, would you mind if I bought your sister a drink? He said, yes. I said, why? He said, she's allergic to alcohol. I said, why? What happens? Do her, do her legs swell up? He said, no, they spread. <laughs> do this all night. <laughs> I'm getting the blackout. Do you ever do that? You, you black out, you can't remember anything. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. It didn't used to happen to me, it does now. I'm thinking of hiring a midget to follow me round at nights when I go out and he can tell me what I did the next day. <laughs> <laughs> right, you've got to apologise to Frank, Jim, Sue, the big fat lesbian you headbutted in KFC. <laughs> the club called, they found your pants. You went home, hey? You stole a bicycle, hanging baskets, and took a big dump on your next door neighbour's doorstep while the children looked out the top window. <laughs> Years ago, I could go out. When I was in my twenties, you know, mid twenties, I'd go out. Hey, eh? I could get thrown out of every bar there was in the town, beat up on the street, go home, have sex with my cat, piss myself. <laughs> I'd wake up next morning, remember everything, and it was a great night. <laughs> Can't remember nothing, none of it. Some of the things as well that you take back home, monsters, after a few drinks. A few drinks, hey, you know, oh God. Pulling back that cover, it's like something out like of CSI Miami. <laughs> yeah, that's her, yeah. <laughs> I met that old lady. She's like, where do you come from? Where do you come from? I'm like, I'm from England. She went, oh, that's pretty. I've never been there. Do they have good ice cream over there? <laughs> I don't know, I'm not there. Oh, shit, I was living in Quincy, Massachusetts. Oh, I like it there. I like it. You know, the States is brilliant. You know, I mean, anywhere for me, I'd love to get out there and do as much as I, as I possibly can and, and, and just meet people, random people around the world. That's what it's all about. And people are always coming up to me, where are you from, where are you from? What year? You're from Australia, you're from Australia. I'm not from Australia, I'm English. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you don't really care anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah. One guy, hey man, where are you from? I was in Charlestown. Yeah, where's anyone from Charlestown? <gasps> there are people there, aren't they? This guy's like, hey man, where are you from? You're not from around here. What are you, what are you doing here? I'm just looking around. Beacon Hill, I'm taking pictures, sir. From England, yeah? I'm like, yeah. Is it true? 
cops in England don't carry guns. I'm like, yeah, it's true. Yeah, what do they use to shoot people with? <laughs> like, oh no, they don't, they don't have guns, but it's okay, because they've got a big stick and a silly little hat. <laughs> <laughs> and a bicycle. Hey, now stop doing that, put that down. Like watching lots of TV when I'm in, in the States, you know, you've got some crazy shows. Ultimate UFC, Ultimate Fighting, that's quite big right now, isn't it? Good God! That's crazy stuff. Two fully grown men stripping down their boxer shorts and having at one another in the octagon. <laughs> they're nipple twisting, they're gouging, they're pinching. I saw one guy teabagging someone the other way. <laughs> Forget the busted crab, we got a new one. You're there with your big foam hands. Yeah, you UFC. Love it, don't you? Have you ever seen uh, old English gentlemen fighting? Have you ever seen them fight? Oh, it's funny. I used to work in a, uh, in a London gentleman's club. Not like that, not one of them ones. I didn't used to dark behind a pole or anything. <laughs> yeah, they were just old men. They used to read the Daily Telegraph, like, you know, all day long. And then they'd fight. Albert, are you mocking me? Fuck you, Humphrey, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll take each, they, this is how they do it, they take each other's, uh, go they, outside and they strip down to their underpants and their socks pulled up to there and they just have it out to each other. <laughs> Come here, you. How dare you. I like to, because everybody fights, you know, I've got a twin brother and we fight to this day, yeah? We punch each other, we'll kick each other, we try killing each other. And I think to myself, I wonder what the royal family do, they must fight. You know, William and Harry. What goes on behind closed doors at the palace? You know, William comes walking in and finds Harry naked <laughs> in Her Majesty's throne, smoking a bong. <laughs> Harry, what are you doing? That's Her Majesty's chair. What are you doing? Right now, I'm taking a shit. Stop that! At once, Harry, that's high treason against your queen. Fuck you. <laughs> and he throws the bong at his head. Oh, uh, Harry, I'm bleeding. <laughs> and he jumps around, you know, with his big scarlet bull sack. Ah, oh, you'll never be my king. If I was your king, I'd chop your dick off. <laughs> Are you going to look after her forever, Matt? Forever and ever and love her forever until you're dead. You better. Remember that, over the years they change. Look around. <laughs> Give it to me. Are you going to get married? I'm like, I don't know. Don't know. Big decision. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah? Well, what do I do? Right? Do I stay single? Do I stay single and talk shit? to a different girl every single week for the rest of my life. <laughs> or, do I get married, listen to shit from the same girl for the rest of my life? <laughs> hey. Worry, worry. You know, over the years, things, things start to change, you know? The sex might change over years, you know? 20, 30, 40 years, it's got to change, really, isn't it, you know? <sighs> Men, you know when you've still got it. You know you've still got it when you're bending over your wife <laughs> and you're giving it the best you can. <laughs> you're sweating, shaking. She lights up a cigarette and starts doing a crossword. <laughs> Keep doing it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> People say to me, have you got any kids? I'm like, do I look like I've got any kids? Look at me, I am a kid. The closest thing I ever got to having a child, I had a pet caterpillar once, and I got drunk one night and smoked it. <laughs> he was my only friend. Connecticut, I was there, I was at Foxwoods, I'm trying to get back there at the end of the year. Yeah, be nice. So I'm living in, you know, was living down in Quincy. Anyone from the North Shore? Anyone from the North Shore? Yeah. Hey, hey, whereabouts, guys, girls? Gloucester. Where? Gloucester. Gloucester, yeah? Is that nice? Anyone from Revere? Where? You're from Revere? Oh yeah. I got herpes there once. <laughs> I 
went to the doctor, I said, I think I'll call it off a toilet seat. He said, you must have bit it, it's in your gums. <laughs> I got any kids? I was in, uh, in, in Sorgas, anyone from Sorgas? Sorgas, Giggles Comedy Club, you know that? Oh, yeah. Kowloon, yeah? Giggles. You giggled it off him. <laughs> and I was doing a show and I'm chatting and I said to the lady in the front row, got any kids? She went, yeah. Yeah, I got 12. I got 12 kids. You got a problem with that? You got a problem? I got 12 kids. You got a problem? You got a fucking problem with that? Like, no, I don't have a problem with that. If you're a sardine. <laughs> Isn't it? Get a TV. <laughs> 12 children. That's absurd. I mean, where do you put 12 children? Not like a CD collection. <laughs> How do you remember all their names? You know? Maybe if you have mixed racial fathers, you could color code them. Yeah. yeah, there's a skinny little white dude with the big teeth. There's a little brown dude that rocks the beat. Yeah. They're my kids. <laughs> Twelve children. She must have a womb the size of a minivan. <laughs> and a pussy that looks like a sad old man. Huh. I'm not going to be alone forever. No, but I might. Who's waiting for me? You are. How was it, baby? I've been. <laughs> yeah. You do, you know. I've been. I've, you know. I've had. I've had. I've tried. I've had girlfriends. I've had girlfriends for a few months, maximum a year. I, I, I try and find excuses to get rid of them after about a year. <laughs> Anything, just any, any, any reason. But some, some, they've been valid reasons. One girl had cold feet. Her feet were freezing. <laughs> she had to go. <laughs> she had to go. One girl had massive hands. One, it wasn't even, to, one hand was normal. One hand was massive. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it in my life. I looked down, she'd be jerking me off. It was like getting jerked off by King Kong. <laughs> Scary girl. One girl used to shit with the door open. <laughs> Never in all my days. Yeah, I'd be like watching like sports. Like, really? She'd be like, hey. <laughs> Disgusted. I tried to kill her. <laughs> One girl had hairy nipples. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You could suck her tits and flush your teeth at the same time. <laughs> You're right down there. Yeah, I think it's a bit of chicken. <laughs> Everyone's taking a picture of something. Ooh, 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 come on. Everyone's got a camera built into their cell phone, or people walking around with iPads, like walking into other people. <laughs> Look, 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 it's a hole in the side of the road. Let's take a picture of it, look. look. Put my finger next to it, look. I'll put my finger in it and take a picture of it. Come and have a look, look, I'll do that, yeah. Who did what about the people that take pictures of their food? Have you seen those people taking pictures of food? <laughs> and posting it on Facebook. <laughs> Instagram. Instagram, sad. It's sad. Uh, they weren't a smile. Who would take pictures of like spaghetti carbonara? Yeah. And you got like seven comments and likes from your friends, like thumbs up, yeah, look at that. People writing stuff like, delicious. Mmm, <laughs> looks yummy. Get alive. Huh? It's like people, people like um, grandparents, parents. They like to show you pictures of their children. Yeah, come and have a look at this. Yeah, I'm getting it out there. Well, look, this is little Freddy. He's going to be five in spring. Okay, so he's four. <laughs> yeah. There's Amanda. She's nine years old. Quite the madam. I don't want to see your kid. I don't want to fucking see you. Why are you talking to me? Go away. <laughs> like when people, you're on the phone. Hold on, little Jimmy wants to say hello. Jimmy wants to. I don't want to speak to Jimmy. Jimmy's three years old. Jimmy's an idiot. Oh,
I think it's such a shame you can't beat kids anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but you can trip them. 